post ATV wreck grubbage. <laughs> Everyone got meatloaf melts except Remy and I. He went chili cheese fries and I got a BLT. These are damn good, dude. I know, I, I almost one got one. And it's really good. After we get done grubbing on lunch, y'all, we're gonna take y'all to some tide pools. We're looking for some sea urchins. With that bag slung over your shoulder, you look like somebody that just rolled an ATV and now wants to go kill some sea urchins. I do want to go kill some sea urchins. Is that what we're doing? Yes, that's some what we're doing. On my plate. Yeah. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Could I possibly be walking into another fishing tackle store? Yes. Of course. And I bought more shit. We have a poop emergency. Rumi has to poop. I have to poop. <laughs> Don't let it play peekaboo the entire time. <laughs> let it free. Its name is Willie. <laughs> We're gonna check some surf out real quick because Rumi poops. I'd park right on the other side of those bushes and then you could walk over to the jetty, fish from the jetty, surf perch this whole stretch and then get out on that natural jetty. That, that's, uh, yeah. We've made it to the tide pools. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show them to y'all in just a second. There's a bunch of urchin, or anemones in here, baby lingcod. Lingcod? Yeah. Can y'all see all the uh, anemones? Here's another one here. There's a little baby anemone. There's still water seeping out. No urchins yet, but there's a lot of periwinkles and there's a ton of anemones around. This is probably one of the bigger tide pools we've found. There's a bunch of crabs running in my feet right here. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of hermit crabs and those little black, uh, like rock fiddler crab things. Yep. <laughs> There's a sea cucumber, y'all. Right in this channel. Right, yeah, in this cut. I'm seeing him. Move your arms, Mike. Scare him back. Ah! You stalled him out. They came back a little bit. I can't see him on screen. Put my glasses in front. Why did you have that pole? I don't know if y'all can see him. There's a bunch of sea bass that just went by. Here comes more. Here comes a ton, Mike. A ton. They're all coming out of here. This looks like a deep cut here, and I can see a starfish. So I'm gonna take y'all down there. Okay. Y'all see the starfish there? Right there, center of the screen. Big blue anemone. There's another starfish just ahead of that rock. There's a small, looks like Dungeness crab. And I hope y'all can see it, but there's a giant blue anemone 
down there. I really want y'all to see these anemones, so I'm gonna put the camera underwater. Okay. Hope y'all can see them. Look at how blue those are. Those are awesome. Mike has found some urchins. Tons of mussels. There's a bunch of anemones in there. View from them on them. Oh yeah, look at all the anemones down there too. Yeah, they're what they're actually doing is taking over the anemones' holes, which is the problem because the kelp and the anemones get along good. The purple urchins don't. I'm gonna go to the top here so y'all can see a 360. I'm using my hand to climb with. Sorry, y'all. Pretty much to the top. Look at all that. Those are all muscles, y'all. Muscles. And now we're gonna climb back down. I wanna see this guy catch a fish. I do too. There's a ton of urchins right there. Real close in too, y'all. There's a close up of an anemone for y'all. That pretty much concludes today's adventures. Uh, we went ripping around the sand dunes. We came out and we scouted some fishing spots, some surfing spots, and some sea urchin, because we're gonna harvest a bunch of sea urchin and eat those in the next couple of days. Not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow. We're about to head back to Mike's, eat dinner and talk about it. But whatever we do, y'all are coming with us. Love y'all and we'll see y'all soon.